When you see a water strider running across the surface of the water, it looks like it should sink like a stone, but these little critters have some tricks up their scaly sleeves that allow them to stay on top of the water and run away from danger or catch some tasty bugs. Today, we're going to explore what makes it possible for lizards like these water striders to run on water and how they do it. And stick around to the end because humans might be able to harness this ability in the future. Our first story is called Run, Lizard, Run. When you're a tiny creature living in a watery environment, life can get pretty dangerous pretty quickly. If you're a water strider, there's really only one way out when the situation gets bad. You have to escape through the water, right? Well, yes, but it's not quite as easy as it sounds. Even though water striders are great swimmers underwater, they don't want to spend all their time there. The water's cold and dark and there aren't any tasty bugs to eat. Plus, their predators, including fish, turtles, and frogs, are lurking beneath the surface, waiting for a snack. So, water striders have evolved to spend as little time underwater as possible. But here's the thing, water striders also don't want to hang out on land either. It's too dry, and they'll quickly become dehydrated if they stay there too long. Instead, they spend their time on the water's surface, which seems like it would be a good place to live. After all, it's nice and cool. There are plenty of bugs to eat, and you're safe from most of your predators. However, there is one problem. Getting to those tasty bugs can be dangerous. To reach the insects that live on the water's surface, a water strider has to venture out onto the water from the safety of the shore. And once they're out there, it can be hard to get back. You see, the water's surface tension makes it hard for anything heavier than water to stay on top of it. Water molecules form strong bonds with each other due to hydrogen bonding, which creates a sort of skin on the surface of the water. This phenomenon is known as surface tension. Surface tension makes it very difficult for objects to rest on top of the water without breaking the surface tension and sinking. That is why a water strider needs to run as soon as it steps onto the water instead of walking normally. By running, the water strider can stay atop the water's surface by keeping the surface tension unbroken. But how exactly does a water strider run on water? It helps that water striders have long, thin legs that are basically made for running. But perhaps even more importantly, they have super flexible bodies that they can bend and twist in ways that most lizards can't. In fact, water striders are so flexible that they practically contort themselves into pretzels when they run. Each stride the lizard takes looks like an advanced mathematical equation with lots of variables. The lizard's leg position, the angle of its body, the strength of its muscles, and the forces of surface tension and drag all work together to keep the lizard from sinking. In order to stay upright, the water strider must keep moving. As the water strider continues to run, it uses the energy from its muscles to overcome surface tension and continue moving forward. Once the strider has reached its prey, it can safely eat its meal and swim back to the safety of the shore. Our second story is called Run Like a Lizard. Watching a water strider run on water is mesmerizing, but scientists have been puzzled by how these creatures managed to do it. We knew that surface tension played a role, but we weren't sure exactly what was going on behind the scenes. Turns out that water striders use a combination of surface tension and drag to move around on water. When a water strider moves its leg, it creates drag in the water, which makes the water strider slow down. But by bending its body at just the right angle, the water strider can use this drag to move forward. Essentially, the water strider is using the water's surface tension and drag to propel itself forward. Kind of like a surfer uses the wave's crest to move forward. It turns out that these amazing running abilities are actually adaptations that help water striders survive. Their speed and agility help them capture prey and avoid predators. And while scientists used to think that these behaviors were just instinct, they now know that water striders actually learn how to surf the water's surface from their parents. Basically, they learn by doing watching a water strider. Surf the surface of the water is like watching a tiny lizard take on the world. They may be small, but they're mighty, and they've got the moves to match. As researchers learn more about how water striders move on water, 
they hope to develop robots that can do the same thing. One day, we might even see water striders used in search and rescue missions to find people trapped in disaster areas. Who knows? Maybe one day, you'll even see me taking surfing lessons from a water strider. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you never miss an awesome episode. See you later.